ask my men close to me that things I don't permit. I will say, number one, don't what? Don't explain what? I teach them. These are commandments to people who stay with me. I say, don't ever explain failure. Nobody wants to hear your explanation of failure. Don't explain it. Don't explain reasons why you, you fail. I let no, no, no. Stay on that thing until it succeeds. Don't explain failure. Number two, I always tell them, don't be slow. One of the signs that you may be perpetually plagued with poverty is that you are slow. It's called the slothful spirit. You are slow. I'm not talking about laziness. I'm talking about slow. There's okay, dude, There's no promptness inside you. Meet any king, there's something called promptness. You, if you meet any great man, you, you may think that they are impatient people. They are not impatient people. They are people of action. I wish I could drink of the well of mighty men stood up. That's why they were mighty men. Those people are not house boys. A house boy will say, he will still be waiting. Okay, okay what we'll go do now. Another man say, I wish that I could drink. Mighty men stood up on their own. No, They deserve that name, sir. Whenever you discover that promptness is far from you, there's something that wants to destroy you. I'll tell you on that one. If you will be great, there will be something called restlessness inside you. Restlessness. Kai. Restlessness is a gift. It's a gift. No, 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 no. Your, your, your heart, your mind, everything is working over time. Everything. See, there's restlessness. Restlessness is one of the ways to break out of the slavery of bondage. He said, when you become restless, you will break out of the slavery of even a blessed man. The slave spirit will make you comfortable with little breakthrough. There are some people, as they buy one TV, they will stay like that for three years. God, may God help us. Restlessness. I say, no, mama, no, come on. You don't just accept anything. Oh, let me just manage this one. Restlessness. Now, it's not covetousness. I, I know you understand what I'm saying. It's an energy inside you that does not set to for anything that is less. You are thankful for where you are, but you don't want to die there. Even leprous men, the moment restlessness came upon them, they say, what are we even doing here? If we go into the city, we die. If we stay here, we die. Let's go to the enemy. Restlessness sometimes will not give you logical thought. But those thoughts that are not logical is what is going to deliver your family. I've been in, I've been in social state now for eight years. What am I still doing here? A state does not respond to you. you you've not received any accurate divine revelation from God for why you should stay there. The question is, what are you still doing there? Have you not heard that there's somewhere called America, somewhere called Abuja, somewhere called... So you want to die in one place. Uh, but you know, I don't have anybody there. Go there. It's, it takes one. It takes high to make a friend. Yes. It takes high to make a friend. A man restless, Jacob, received blessing, immediately took his bag and went on a journey where the, he did not know where he was going to. But because there was something leading him, he landed where he's supposed to be. I knew how we came into Abuja. I was to follow a group of friends as of that time to a program. My transport could only bring me to Abuja. So I told them, okay, I'll wait for you here. You people, go and come. They came back and passed to Makodi. They didn't tell me. When I called, they, oh, where well, Makodi? Okay, enter a bus tomorrow. I said, no, I'll stay here. I will stay here. I'm not going back. <laughs> you don't understand. God, you don't understand. You don't understand. I will stay here. I'm not going back. Now the young man is a king. 
If I went back there, maybe I'll be, may God give you understanding. There is mommy's food there to eat. There is safety there. But there is greatness outside. I sat there and said, wait. How long will I continue like this? My transport finish. I said, no. This Abuja, I better die here than to go back to Makodi. Meanwhile, God had already told me, even my father, my biological father, told me also by prophecy. He said, God wants you to be in Abuja. In my mind, I thought that coming to Abuja would be something that, you know, you will now prepare for, and then they will now give money. I said, okay, we bless you, move, eh? Trans some may God make your transport finish in the place of your blessing. You have trans every time you are passing that place. May God cause that transport. Th that car will permanently park in the place of that blessing. And I stayed and I started squatting. Me. I was, a, I was a manager for a gospel artist one time because I was courting with him. And you see me, if you know so, me personally, I don't like staying with people and not be useful. See, may God give you the spirit of a king. So even when I was courting with brethren, I said it brethren, we were squatted together before too. At least I'll be, I'll be bringing money for food. The same thing, that's what we do. If we are staying and we are squatting, which at least we will be giving money for food. Not because the people demanded for, for it. But because there is a spirit of a king inside me. And then the guy was a gospel music shan. I will follow him that time to Transcorp. Because he used to work in Transcorp to play guitar. And this thing, piano. In those days are long, or whatever. And then I will sit down and I will look at rich men children. Walking up and down. See, there are some things you need to see so that you can look at your parents and say, as long as I'm, I'm alive. You don't understand what I'm saying. I'm not being carnal. I'm talking from the spirit of a king inside. The restlessness of a king. Look at these children. They don't care. And then I will remember my parents and my brothers suffering in my body. I say, me was so when I was in Abuja at that time, I had fasted in my court until also I turned my whole belly. I said, God, by what means do these people excel? Okay. And then, when I had small money, that I would go and lodge in hotels. And then I would, I would look at the beauty of everything. I would look at And then my mind was being helped. I started discovering that Okrika is never, it's not better than original. I started discovering that trekking is not actually exercise. Hey, have you ever sat in the night and wept for your parents? mama mama na. So in this Abuja, we, we, began, we began to labor in prayer. Labor, preaching to people. That I had a WhatsApp, I had WhatsApp group where I would just be preaching, talking to people. I, I said, okay, if I don't have money to rent a church, I have a phone. On WhatsApp, I will not pay a light bill. I will not pay rent. And it's still human beings I'm talking to, not robots. See, it is the spirit of a king inside you that will give you wisdom on how that spirit can be expressed outwardly sir at every point in time you have something in your hands stop looking for uncle now we are the uncle they are looking up to if you keep looking on unto uncle nobody will look up to you check everyone who looked up to uncle till now they are still paupers not because there's no king in them, but because they know it did not. I never looked up to any man, but God. God has brought us this far. Meanwhile, I had uncles I could call. I didn't call anybody. Uh, well, don't try this at home. <laughs> if you are led, please call. Please call them. 
and then it continued that way until you will not know how you even arrived where you are. That's how it will You will not even know. God, before he blessed Solomon, he what enlarged his what? Heart. Sometimes it's that big eye that will get you out of poverty. Don't accept smallness. I tell you this as a brother. Don't accept it. You may be in Mararaba, but your mind should not be off Mararaba. Off. You may be in, but let your mind not be off that place. So knowledge can get a servant, a slave, out of the status of a slave into the realms of the princess. Knowledge. 